Peace, peace, everyone. This is Ifa Nawad Day. Uh, we doing tea talk on vir for virtual Thursdays. Here we go. So, how's everybody doing? I hope all is well. So today I am sipping on some green tea with a drop of peppermint um, candy, like the real peppermint candy. Um, and so that's what I'm drinking on today. Now, green tea definitely has a lot of great uh, medicinal benefits. One of them is uh, it's, uh, it helps with weight release, um, appetite suppressant. Uh, when you look at some of the traditional um, weight loss products, they have green tea extract in it. So um, definitely um, check it out and do a little bit of research, but it definitely has some great benefits. So let's say, so let's get the ball rolling. So today, um, I just wanted to talk about, let's see, um, like you are the pot. And so what I mean by that, you know, you are the altar and, um, you know, a lot of times when people start out on their spiritual journeys, you know, they come across information like saying that, hey, you know, you need to do an ancestor altar or you need to do some an altar for your um, for the deities you're working with or you need to do um, an altar for money. You need to do an altar for this. And you know what? That's all fine and dandy. It really, really is, you know, because it is a tool is more or less a vessel. It is a bridge between you and the spirit world so no problem um, but sometimes if you don't have an altar available or if you're in a position where you can't utilize an altar guess what you are the altar you are the pot and um, and it's okay um, to do your spiritual practices um, without having a physical altar or um, or any type of tools because you are the tool and because uh, it's all about your intentions it's all about what's going on within you that you are working on and you know changing your reality it's all about you so it's within you you know the divine creator is the essence of you know we have the essence of the creator so the creator is within us so we don't have to look outside of us to do our to do our spiritual practices you know even utilizing the energies of the different moon phases you know you don't necessarily have to do a full-fledged ritual actually everything is within so you know of course we're just coming out of a full moon and um you know, just ha when things come up, when things arise, you know, in general conversations and whatnot, you know, you know, things that you haven't thought about in a long time, you know what, that's a form of release. That's, you know, your, your higher self letting you know, hey, go ahead, talk about this. Let it bring it to remembrance, you know, acknowledge what it is, you know, accept it is identify how it has um, played in your life. And then you know what, release it. You know what? Release those things that's not of your highest good. Um, and that helps um, clear the passages within you, with, you know, your ethereal passages, um, the meridians within yourself. And in that way, boom, you're opening up to receive. So you have to get rid of the old to bring in the new. And, um, and you know, I like, you know, that's something that you can apply across the board. But always remember, you are the pot. You are the altar. Um, you don't have to have these external things to commune with the most high. Everything is within. You know, when you're working on yourself, it's within. You do not have to go look without. And again, if you do have altars, it's A-OK. -okay. Trust and believe. It is OK. And uh, that's one of the beautiful things about a spiritual journey, you know, is what you make it to be. You know, you don't have anyone standing over you saying, well, you have to do this and you have to do that and you can't do this and you can't do that. No, it's what is for you. And, uh, and it's quite all right. You know, your individual journey is just that, your individual journey. And it's always great to fellowship with like-minded people who are on their spiritual journey as well. You know, that's good for support, networking, growing, and um, and that's just a wonderful thing. But you are the pots, you are the altar. So, all right, so that's just been 
a um, couple of nuggets that I want to share with you. And so don't forget, you know, today is green tea with a drop of peppermint. And uh, so I hope you have a very wonderful and productive day and peace and abundance and the overflow of joy and happiness to each and every one of you. And you take care. Adabo.